Good morning. Did any of y'all watch football this weekend? Me either. Oh, you did. Okay. I don't really watch much football unless it's in person. Um, I don't really have the patience for it. But, you know, football is a team sport. If there's one really good player on the team, that's great. But the team's not going to do that well that year. The whole team has to be really good to be a really good team, right? Because it's not just one person that can do everything. There's a whole bunch of people out there on the field all at once that have to work together to make it work, right? You know, I do like to watch football. But my favorite thing to watch is the coach when something goes wrong. Have you ever watched that camera zoom in on the coach and suddenly he's going, what's happening? What's going on? You're not doing what I'm told you to do. You ever seen that? And he's like, oh, he's pacing the field up and down. Okay, y'all are watching the wrong people at the football games. You gotta start watching the coaches. They're so interesting. Do you know what the coach's job is? Partly, do you know, Graham? Right, kind of in charge of the team, right? And he tells the team what to do. He calls the plays, tells them when he wants them to do certain things. Hey, they're doing this. You need to do that. Kind of keeps them going, tries to help them win the game. Do you know that we have a coach in our lives? It's God. We're kind of like a football team here at the church. Maybe not quite as aggressive, hopefully. But we're in here and we're doing it. And God is our coach. He is telling us what to do. And he's written us a playbook that's the Bible. It has everything that we need to do in there, what not to do, what to do. And I bet you that there are some times that God is in heaven going, what are they doing? What's happening? That is not what I told them to do. And he's pacing up and down on the sideline thinking, what is going on? But here's what I think is really neat about thinking about the church like a football team. Have you ever noticed when, during a football game when a player gets hurt, what everyone else does? Or when a player gets knocked down, what does everyone else do? They run over there and they pull them up, right? They check on them. Hey, are you okay? They hop up and all of that. You know, football games are full of surprises. People get hit when they're not expecting it. They get tackled. They get blindsided. Sometimes player gets, players get hurt or get sick. And that happens in life, too. But the good news is, is we have all these people in our church family that are there to help us out. When we get knocked down or someone gets sick or hurt, there is someone to say, hey, are you okay? Can I help you? Can I do something for you? Let me pick you up and support you. Now, here's the deal. Just like everyone's going to do that for us, we're part of the team. So we have to do the same thing. So when we see someone that's in need or see someone that needs help, what's our job? To help them out, right? to go check on them, to love on them a little bit, okay? Does anyone want to pray for us this morning? Okay, I'll pray. Let's bow our heads. Dear God, thank you so much for allowing us to have such a wonderful family that supports one another and is there for one another, and help us to do that for others. It's in your name we pray. Amen.